Steven Caps here with TXGates.com. I'm out on a service call in our service vehicle, which has about everything you could imagine tools, extension cords, drills, post hole diggers, tons of extra parts. So when we come out here like this in the middle of nowhere, we can get the customer fixed up. Okay, I'm just going to go over a real quick troubleshooting guide. I'll just call this Patriot 101. This is a double gate master slave unit. If you saw the previous video, uh, the gate wasn't closing and that was something that definitely required a service call. Uh, but I'm going to go over some real quick easy fixes that almost anyone can do. So these are the most common uh, problems that you run into. Okay, on the older Patriots, you have a plastic cover that's just, there's, there's sometimes a zip tie here, but you want to take this off, which you got to watch out for wasps because they love these boxes. But you have your board here, battery charger, and your battery. Um, so the most common problems, if let's say the gate was in the closed position and it wouldn't open, okay? Notice you have two 15 amp fuses here for each gate. Now if it's a, if it's a single gate, you only have one uh, cable plugged in. So if it's a single gate, you'll only have one of these. It's a double gate, so we have one for each gate. So you have your 15 amp fuses. If they're blown, they're black and that little uh, U-shaped metal is burned in half. But both of these look okay. So I would check that. And then you also have a reset button right there. And you just press that in. It doesn't click or pop or stay in or anything. You just press it. And uh, But the most common is this little rascal here, your battery because if it's a solar powered unit, which the only thing that separates the solar Patriot and the electric is a transformer, okay? So if it's solar, a solar panel would be plugged into the battery charger, okay? Now what happens is that this is just a maintainer to maintain your battery. It's not like a trickle charger that you may have at your house or in your a garage. So if the battery gets below a certain voltage, this will not recharge your battery. So you want to put a voltmeter on your battery to see what kind of voltage you, you, you have. And if it wasn't a fuse and it wasn't a reset button and your gate is in the closed position, it's most likely your battery. So let's say that you put your voltmeter on there and it reached 12 volts, okay? Well, what we'll do is holding your voltmeter on your battery, open the gate. And if it's a bad battery, it, it may show charged, but as soon as you put a load on it or you try to open the gate, it drops. So what, what usually happens is that, uh, let's say it says 12 volts, you push your remote control and then it goes and opens like a foot or six inches or something and then stops. If you had your voltmeter on there, you would you would see your volts drop from like 12 volts to 7 or 5. So that means that, that your battery is bad. Now, let's say that you just uh, came out and your gate was closed and you had, let's say, 5 volts or 7 volts. Uh, you just have a dead battery. And the solar panel or the battery charger inside of the Patriot box will not recharge your battery whenever it gets that low. So just throw it on a trickle charger overnight, and if your battery is still good, that should fix you up. I'm gonna go over one more thing. If your gate is in the open position and it won't close, this is very common with the Patriots. Um, because your remote control, you have one button opens the gate normally, so it'll open and then automatically close. And then the second button holds the gate open. Now this button isn't for, this remote control isn't for this gate. Um, the customer didn't leave a remote control for us. But if your gate is in open position, you would open it with button two to hold it open. 
but whenever you want it to close, you just press button two again. Well, once you press number two to unlock it for it to close, it starts your timer. So if your gate is set to automatically close after 30 seconds, then it's gonna take at least 30 seconds for it to close. Okay, if you've um, pressed it two or three times and it doesn't seem to be working or this or that, you can press this LED indicator button right here. And then right here, number nine, which is free exit open input, which is where the hold open wire goes. If it's being held open by button two, you would press the LED indicator indicator button and number nine light would turn on so all, all, all you would do is you can do it I only have one hand here but you would press your LED indi indicator button and then press button number two on your remote control and the light would go off and then your gate would automatically close so once again Stephen here with TX gates um, this is Patriot 101